There we go. I was having trouble getting the video going. Good December 11th here in real time in Anchorage, Alaska. The sun is just coming up over there in the southeast. My fingertips are cold. I had to walk quite a ways over here from where I park. And there's going to be a lot of hustle and bustle noise, as you probably know if you watch any of my Ship Creek fishing videos. I thought it would be a good idea to do the intro for my next video out here in real time in the real world and show you just what it looks like right now. And I am so thankful this is not the time of year that silvers run up. There's no way I could stand out there. We'd all die. <laughs> It's too cold out here. Oh, but I've already been working on the video footage for this video. I, I already know exactly what it looks like. I remember what it felt like. It was July 31st, a Saturday, and it was so warm, even though it was like the, the tide peaked, I think, at 6 a.m. And so I must have been fishing here by about 6.30, 6.40 that day. But um, it was so warm, I was in my hoodie. And I started out fishing right up here, right in that spot I just got done showing you. I started fishing right over here on that day. And there were some flossers out in the stream, downstream of me. And I don't normally stay in a spot where, you know, the flossers get past me, generally. But if you can tell, well, thankfully it's low tide right now. So you can see where the stream prefers to flow. And it, just imagine the water being deeper, like it was on this morning. And of course the the stream bed has already changed quite a bit since July 31st but anyway it's basically the same concept the same principle the fishing hole is right there and it starts right there and it's a pretty good distance going down here and we caught a you know quite a few of our salmon right here in this fishing hole this year a lot of them as you saw in the last video three of them to be exact three of them were caught right there by my sister, her fiance, and my dad. I was skunked that day, but um, that's why I was fishing that spot. I was hoping to get lucky myself. I was all by myself that day. And uh, I tried there for a little bit and I realized, you know what, this isn't working. The flossers are already below me. I know better. I need to be below the flossers because that's where the fish are at. So. I moved downstream. The whole entire morning turned around after that, as you're going to see in a, in a little bit. But um, I'm getting very cold. I feel like I came out here and said the gist of what I wanted to say. I'm gonna start walking back towards the car now. Let you get on with the video from the day. The amazing day that I had out here on Ship Creek. So don't go too far. Check this out. So as I said before, I got started fishing up high. I wanted to make sure that before I started too low that I wasn't passing any fish up here at the beginning of the fishing hole. And I tried and I tried and I tried and I took into account that the water's edge was pretty far away and I usually don't get lucky when the water is this far past me, when the tide is this far out and like I said, when the flossers are below me. I tried anyways, I saw my dad do it. I saw him catch a silver when flossers had passed him. And so I figured maybe I would get lucky. But then I also figured, you know what? No, it's time to move down. It's time to move on and go where I normally get lucky and where I think the fish are at. So I reeled in for the last time, decided, yeah, I have enough bait to save. Looked downstream to make sure the coast was clear or at least the spot I wanted was open, gathered my things, and started heading that direction. Oh shit, 
already slipped through there already. Woo, and it's a fighter. Come on. It's a little. It's tough. You can get around that branch. Yeah. First cast. There we go. One bleeding. Let's get some more. Oh, my hands are all f***ed up now. Like my hands are on the grass. I have bags in my backpack, but that don't do any good right now. Should have pulled them out. Man, that was sweet first cast after moving down. Let's save that footage before it's too late, huh? Let's do it again. Oh, I fogged my glasses up with my sweat. Great. Right about there, I started getting a nibble. Like that might have been the only fish holding it there at that moment. Ooh, I'm messy. It's okay. I plan to get messy for fish. Come on. Come on. Where are you guys? That was a nice fight. That was a strong fish for as little as it was. And it carried on like this for quite a while, so I'm going to fast forward it a little bit until right here. Fish on! Oh man, I didn't think I was going to get that one. It's bigger. They're finally here! <laughs> okay, there's two. Oh my god, and to think I almost didn't come. Oh shit. Save that one too. Yeah. Someone else has a fish on. That was a freaking tiny piece of bait too. I'm gonna put another tiny one on. Dang, I'm not even gonna be able to go fishing with my sister tonight. I mean, I'll come, but I won't be able to fish. <laughs> I think I'm about to have my limit. I just got all muddy and I don't even care. Like I mentioned before, I started silver salmon fishing here in the summer of 2022, and I've caught silvers here every year since. So has my family. There hasn't been a dry year for us. Even though the fish numbers were low this year, we still found them. But on this day, we were still wondering, where are the fish? And by this date, last year, we were already in well into the double digits of fish. So it was abnormal for me to have not yeah, yet yeah. caught a limit. But on this morning, it finally happens. I guarantee you there's one more out here, right here in front of me. There's gotta be one more. Oh, 
they get aggressive when that tide is going out. That's why that bobber is going here under. You are recording, right? Yeah, you are. Just making sure I'm not talking to myself. Even though I technically am. sure there'd be one more in here but maybe not maybe they all went down I caught two and oh there was one come on take it come on take it there was something playing with it Come on, take it. Fish on. Let him get tired for a second. He's whoa. You ain't going down there. Ooh, he's fighting. Hopefully she. Oh. Ooh. I think I saved it. I'm done. Oh. Oh. Good morning, Ship Creek. Oh. Holy crap. That was fast. All in one spot. I haven't even had time to enjoy my vape down here this morning. That one's got a scar in it. Oh yeah, I got some beauties. I don't even know what time it is. Man, I got messed up. I'm a mess. That was awesome. One, two, three. I'm gonna get them all rinsed off. I gotta save my battery life. There's more to show you. Let's go uh, up to the walking bridge. All right. I'm just about back at the cleaning table. I am covered in shit. Oh, fish. Oh, hey, she's got fish. Yeah. Oh. Silvers. Silvers. Okay. Did you get that? All the way, all the way down there? With bait. <laughs> all with bait? Yep. Yeah. That's the way Good. to do it here. We're going uh, tomorrow on the Kenai River. 
But I think fishing for trout yeah. mainly. Okay, I was going to say, on the Kenai, like if you're going for reds, then you do, you floss, you flip. Okay, they, I think they, don't they said we're mostly going to be fishing for trout, unless yeah. the guide says we can catch. Uh, and I hope yeah. I'm not bothering you. I'm oh, no. really, really curious. Nope, I, it's all good. Uh, it's my first limit. We've been, so I've, I've normally got about 20 to 30 fish under my belt by this time this year. Yeah. Until now, I only had two. Wow. We've been wondering where are the fish so they're coming later this year yeah most likely. Uh, we had we had intense snowfall over the winter uh -huh. and it felt like it felt like summer it was never going to look like summer on the mountains it took so long for the snow to go away wow. so i think all things considered they're just coming in late i hope we do you know we're doing something tomorrow that we've never done we're doing a float trip i don't really yeah. know what exactly that means but i saw a video and they had a a little red bead and a hook, so I guess it looks like a salmon egg for the yeah. trout. Yeah, yeah, they'll take that too. I, um, well, I'm not positive that's what we're doing, but yeah. uh, I just hope we catch something. Yeah. Well, I want to see you cut one of these open. I want oh, to yeah. see what the, what the actual meat looks like. Okay. Silver's now, what's the other name for a silver? Coho. Coho. Yeah. And Coho as far salmon. as eating is concerned, king is considered the best? Um, I feel like most people consider reds the sockeye. Um, really? as far as salmon go, yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, I love silvers. Oh shoot, I don't, um, it's been so many years since I've been allowed to even keep a king. I haven't, I, I haven't eaten a king in a long time. So I, I want to try like, all the different ones. I mean, we're only here for six days, but I want to try king salmon and I want to try sockeye salmon. I mean, I'd like to try them all, but yeah. I don't know if I'll have that opportunity. Um, yeah, I would think that you should, uh, hopefully. Um, yeah, my husband I know prefers reds. I don't mind. What's the silvers. other name for a red? Sockeye. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, sockeye. Yeah, and then there's also chum, which right. yeah, is those a dog. Are, yeah. Yeah, th those are good when they're fresh, or if they're already starting to get their stripes, they're good when they're smoked. Yeah, smoked okay. Smoked fish. Um, but my favorite is silvers. My husband's favorite is reds. I, I suppose some people might favor kings. Um, but I feel like if my husband were to choose his favorite fish to eat, period, yeah. it's halibut. It's not salmon. Really? <laughs> yeah. Halibut is pretty dang good. Well, it looks like those guys were all jealous of you. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, I have um, social media. I do. I post my videos on social media and stuff. I, I get a picture of it. Oh, no. I, I don't it's mind at all. Done, but I struggle with locals. This is pretty cool. You're, you're not able, are you able to throw your remains into the river? Oh yeah. Because yeah. uh, um, it's nutrients to go back into the river? Yep. Nutrients and uh, like the, I mean, I don't know if any of the young are going to eat the carcasses yeah. from here specifically, but Well, that's an easy way will. to get rid of your, to make, you know, not have to have any remains to clean up. Oh yeah. I, um, I don't like bringing carcasses or anything home. I leave it all here. Yeah. I do have my, so on my mom's side, my grandmother is full Alaska Native. I, think I got one down there. It might be a pink. They're, those are flossers. <laughs> Tell me again what flosser means. They're flipping. They're not using bait. They're just, it looks tiring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, do you smoke your fish or do you eat them? Will you eat all three of these fresh? Uh, I, I store most of my meat in the freezer. I'll probably save two of these fillets to have for dinner tonight. There you go. But I store most of the meat in the freezer and then... So freeze two fish and uh, when you say fillets, you're talking about one fillet per side. Yeah, yep. Yeah. This is one fillet yeah. and there's one fillet. And yeah, yeah, so we'll eat one whole fish for dinner tonight and right. I'll freeze the other ones. Your limit's three? Yep, three per day. And that's even uh, as a native Alaskan. Here. Yep, yep, three per day. Um, places like if you're dip netting or if you're on the Kenai, then it's different. But here, it's three per day. I know that we're doing catch and release for the trout. That'll be fun. But um, I don't know what the situation is if we were to get salmon. But my uh, belief is it's not super likely that we'll catch salmon. But they said, you know, hey, if it happens to be possible and everyone's in agreement, that's what I'd love to be able to catch salmon. And I guess you can get them uh, frozen and shipped home. I just saw, so I had a relative that came down from Nome yesterday, which is just further northwest Alaska. She was down here, uh, she was catching a flight to go back to Nome yesterday, and there must have been like 5,000 tourists with salmon that they were taking home. I was like, ooh, and it was a good sight to see though, because in 2020, there was nobody. There was no tourists. It was dead, dead quiet here. Right. So it's like, even though, 
I kind of don't like being around a whole lot of people yeah. at once. It's nice to see that everybody's back. <laughs> yeah, this is our first time to Alaska. I've, I've wanted to come for at least five years. Yeah. We just arrived last night. But we're, we're only in Anchorage just for, you know, 14, 16 hours. And then we, we had to Cooper Landing later today. Oh, that's going to be fun. My other favorite place to fish is Bird Creek. But we've only gone out there once this year because, like I said, we've been wondering where the fish are. Yeah. It's a, like, 30-mile drive from here, whereas this is only 10 minutes from my home. So yeah. I was like, I'm not going to be going to Bird Creek a whole bunch until we know they're here. And they're here now. <laughs> so where's your husband this morning? Is he working already? Yeah, he, yep, he went to work. I left the house before he did. <laughs> I was like, I got fish to catch. Bye. <laughs> so... When we went to bed last night, we went to bed relatively early. It was still reasonably light, but it did get dark. What time does it get light in the morning? It starts getting lighter around, I'd say that you notice the first changes around 3.30, 4. I got and up And then before. after that, it really starts getting lighter faster. Okay. And it's going to be a few minutes later and later each day since we're after the solstice now. Yeah. But, yeah. I forgot. I didn't take a picture. <laughs> I gotta take a so picture. So do you guide? Here. Is that what you do too? No, no. I. But you have followers. I, so. I was gonna say I have the skill, I believe, but I yeah I have followers, but I'm not a guide. Nice catch. Thank you. How long have you been out this morning? Um, I was on the water less than an hour. Good job. And I see a trooper or fishing game coming, so I've got my license ready. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready. I thought I was ready a few minutes ago. I'm ready now, though. This is the prettiest one. <clears throat> it's probably a female, which is good. I need females. Why is that? A bit more bait. The, oh, they'll have eggs the roe, yep. Okay, and that's what you keep the eggs for, or do you eat them too? Oh no, I don't. My my native family, I believe, eats them. Hi there. But I Go don't. Ahead. I don't eat them. Oh, that's a male. This one's a boy. But it's you not save all the eggs for fishing purposes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. Save the eggs. Cure them. Oh, birds are happy. Oh, security. I thought he was fishing them. I don't even know security for what. I've never seen them down here before. That's why I. That's why I thought it was. I just thought it was fishing game. <laughs> Because I, I know they come down here sometimes. Okay, so I've cut the bloodline out. Get that blood vein out. Then, cut diagonally right here and cut all the way through. Then you go along the backbone. I struggle with this a lot, especially, I think I'm. it's about time for a new fillet knife. I've tried sharpening it. Yeah. I just, I sliced myself open when I was sharpening it. And I feel like it does sharpen a little bit, but. There we go. Pretty. That's what I wanted to see. Nice job. Thanks Thank for you. chatting with me. Oh yeah. Okay, have a good day, okay? You too, yeah. Hi. Hi. Yep. Yeah. Way, I was way down there where those other guys are. Okay. Because I fished Ooh. the right way, and that's why they're still down there. <laughs> Lux? Uh, yeah, Silver. Silver. Yeah, Coho. <laughs> yep. Uh huh. Where are you from? Munich. Oh, okay. Welcome. Thank you. Good. It's my first limit. You're al you're allowed three per day, and it's my first time this year. We've been wondering where are they? <laughs> they're here. <laughs> yeah, yep, they're here. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you too. <laughs> Woo! Having a hard time with all this. I don't even know why I got started already. I didn't grab my cooler. Oh yeah? Wondering what's taking me so long to give you all this shit?
Hey, 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 females. It's a female. That's what I need. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Those guys are still down there. They're still trying to catch fish that I caught right in front of them like an hour ago. That's a big fish. I'm gonna weigh that one. I didn't weigh the other two, they were smaller. I'm gonna weigh this one. Scale says. Point zero two, and I'll measure what the length too. What the hell? Why not? But I figure some people might be curious. Ooh. Come on now. See, it's roughly twenty-two and a half, maybe a little shy. It's definitely over twenty-two, so it's a little longer than the other one that I measured. Moment of truth, I believe you are a female too. No sea lice on any of my fish, but I know they're fresh. Yep, it's a female. I strangely don't mind taking my time going home when I have fish. Have you noticed? I can sit out here, admire my fish, clean them all day. That's what it took. Honk, honk, honk. Honk, honk, honk. I don't know why this is so hard for some people to understand. Leave the cleaning table, cleaner, and you found it. It's not hard, right? That's not so bad. Oh, I did want to weigh. Yeah. Keep thinking I'm done. <laughs> so I got roughly eight pounds of fish. Legs out. That's an unfair advantage to weigh in. Them. Six point seven two. And I think the cheapest that you can find fish in the stores locally around me is nine ninety nine a pound. $9.99 a pound times 6.72 pounds is roughly $67.13 worth of fish All right, now I'm done. that I just caught. All right, that's a wrap. 
Gonna come back with my family tonight, see if they can't catch some limits. I'll be watching, but it's okay. I hope both my boys will go. We'll see. We'll catch you later. All right, there we go. I was having trouble again. I do not have my backpack, obviously, like I normally do during my fishing videos. But this is what the bait shack looks like this time of year. Dustin's cleaning table and everything around here. Everything's all frozen and cold. The walking bridge has a good amount of packed snow and ice on it. Oh, it is cold out and it's slippery. One false move and I can be doing the splits. This really needs to be cleaned. I was thinking about it while I was building this video that you're watching. The stream bed is bound to change even more before next season. It does, it changes every winter. I feel like there's normally a lot more ice. It's, it's not as messy looking as I'm used to. But I do feel like a week ago or about there, not too long ago, it was a whole bunch of big high tides and that's why you can see the tide line where the ice goes up there and where the water never reached. And you kind of see it on both sides. But the stream used to flow over there and this is now becoming a high spot and the stream is choosing to flow more towards this side. So I'm curious to see if that's going to, if that's going to keep up, if the flow is just going to get even stronger right here, or if it's going to change even more and maybe move back to that side like it used to be. But I started fishing here myself in, I honestly can't remember if it was 2020 or 2021. Might have been 2021. I, I think. I think the very first silver I ever caught out of here was in 2022. And if that's correct, then I started fishing here during the king season of 2022, so about May. And I went the whole entire king season skunked, like I have every year since then. I have yet to land. I technically have landed a king, but I don't brag about it because it was a jack king. But I have yet to land like a bragging rights king out of Ship Creek still. By the time the silver started coming in that year of 2022, I finally figured the creek out. I figured out how to time the tide, where to be and when on the stream bank, because that's all important when you're fishing a tidal fishery. You follow the fish in, you follow the fish out and the fish are with the tide. So you follow the tide in, follow the water in, follow the water out. Oh, I'm cold. Started fishing here in 2022. Caught my first silvers the same day as my son. My son and I came, we caught our, the very first silvers we caught, we both caught a limit. And I caught one and then he'd catch one a little bit bigger. And then I caught one a little bigger and then he'd catch one even bigger yet. And it just kept going in that pattern. All three of his fish were bigger than my three fish. You talk about one proud mom. Not only did I have the creek figured out, and not only was I not skunked anymore, I finally got my first fish ever out of Ship Creek, but so did my teenage kid. But anyways, I'm freezing. I'm back at the car now, where it's still nice and warm inside, thankfully, and I'll bet you can hear me a lot better. But, uh, yeah, I need to turn that down. That's a little loud. I want to thank you for checking out Real Alaskan Outdoors. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell buttons so you don't miss our future uploads. Um, don't forget to like and share so you can help me grow. I'm still trying to figure out YouTube. 
you may have seen videos already about my sob stories about what's happening with Facebook. I give up with Facebook. I am only going to be here on YouTube now. Sorry about my nose. I'm cold. But, um, yeah, thanks for stopping by again, watching another video of the only day I caught my limit on a single tide this year. We're out of fish in the freezer. I think my son Timmy is going to come pick up his fish out of my freezer. He caught two. My son Timmy was brand new to Alaska this year. He had never fished here in Alaska. Never even been here during the summer before. He's 23 years old. He turned 23 in July. He went fishing with me. He does. He has fishing experience from elsewhere, but he went fishing with me here. He caught one silver out of Ship Creek this year, and he caught one out of Bird Creek. I didn't catch any silvers out of Bird Creek this year. That's how bad it was. And as soon as we realized it was a really bad struggle at Bird Creek, we stopped going out there, and I stuck just to Ship Creek because, well, yes, I love to brag about how, you know, we bait fish and we catch silvers no matter what, no matter where they are, no matter how few or how many there are in the stream. Bird Creek is a lot longer drive, burning a lot more gas that's been really expensive the last few years. So, and because the catch rate was better here at Ship Creek, hatchery fish or not, I prefer to go where I'm more successful. That way I'm filling my freezer faster because we're eating fresh fish, you know, during the fishing season while I'm simultaneously trying to fill the freezer. And we're already out. It's only December 11th. So when I first got here, I'm not going to lie. I said a little prayer. I'm praying that the fish come back in greater numbers this year, that it's a more successful season and that it's not as much of a struggle. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I ramble so much. I'm trying to get used to talking, you know, one-on-one -on -one to the camera. I'm trying to remember. I'm talking to all of you whenever I do this, but for me, it feels weird. I'm sitting here in my car by myself talking to my camera. So I'm still trying to get over that hurdle. And I think once all of that feels more natural, hopefully everything will be a little smoother. But yeah, that's all I've got for you for now. Until I start working on the next video. I don't even know what the teaser clip is. But I'm going to figure that out and insert it here. We'll catch you later. Girls! almost lost my boot. Get it, get it. Pull, you gotta pull your reel in a little bit. Try to turn your pole this way again. See if you can get them to come this way. No? Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.